everybody and welcome to the MMA Training Bible step-by-step -step guide to goal setting. I'm going to be taking you through this lecture. I'm Dr. Jason Gillis and in it we're going to focus on how you can get and keep your head in your fight all year round. Before we go on though I just want to have a little overview here. Uh, just a reminder about what we're doing. So this course is divided into two parts. Part one it's about understanding the present and part two it's about building a future that you look forward to, a compelling vision for your future. It's goal setting. So in part one and session one, that's what we're doing here. We're gonna to try to understand the fighter's mindset. And in sessions two, three, and four, we're gonna use performance profiling techniques from sports psychology to characterize where you're at with your MMA skills, your physical fitness, and your psychological skills. So what we wanna focus on now in this session, session number one, it's a fighter's mindset. So welcome to session one. Now in this session, it's really fundamental. You're gonna be considering why you fight. That's really the big thing we wanna do. We have a little exercise that we're gonna take you through. This really does form the foundation of everything that you do in your sport. It influences your motivation and training, and it influences your willpower in the fight. And if you can get associated with this reason, your mental state will grow immeasurably. So after we do that, we're gonna talk about some of the more common reasons why fighters fail to reach their goals and ultimately they fail to reach their full potential. So hopefully we'll tell you those and you can avoid some of those, uh, some of those things. So what we want to do now is just give you an overview of the learning objectives. This is what I want you to get out of this uh, video lecture. The first thing, I want you to consider why you fight. Second thing, I want you to understand what could limit your performance and your potential. And the third, I want you to understand that your mind is the ultimate resource. You'll never be short on resources if you have the right goals, if you create a vision for yourself. So let's have a little look at what we're going to cover here. These are the, the three sections that we wanna cover in this video. First, we're gonna talk about why you fight. Next, we're gonna talk about what stops you from reaching your full potential. And third, we're gonna talk about your mental state as the ultimate resource. Now, I'm not sure if you're a coach or a fighter or just thinking about getting into MMA or another combat sport, but I'm sure that you're on a very unique path. It's unique because fighters, they're not normal people. They may have normal jobs like accounting or engineering or plumbing, but what sets them apart is that they're willing to risk their body, they're willing to risk their pride, and they're willing to risk their image to compete in a cage. And that is unique. But have you ever thought about why you fight or what drives you to fight? People have all sorts of reasons for why they, they step in the cage. I want you to take five to 10 minutes to think about this very question. I want you to pause the video right now and download and print off the worksheet PDF that's right beside the video. And I want you to turn me back on when you're ready to go and walk through it. So let me just show you what this, this video looks like or, or rather this, this PDF looks like. Okay, if you recall this, we showed you this in the introduction. This is the first exercise that we're, we're gonna be doing. And, and so you should be looking at this uh, this document right now you can see uh, exercise number one why you fight take five to ten minutes to think about why you fight and and write it down here below okay so you should have paused the video and you should have downloaded this document and printed it off and you should be looking at exercise one why you fight you should have also something to write with Okay, so let's get going here. Oh, and just by the way, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be writing down, uh, brainstorming, and I'm gonna be talking while you're writing down. So this is really an interactive workshop. And hopefully, um, I'm gonna be giving you some ideas that will resonate with you, uh, and you can write those down. It's about identifying why you fight. So, why do you fight? Just write down whatever comes to you. Maybe you fight because you like beating people up. Or worse, you like getting beat up. I don't know what it is for you. Have a think about it. Try to think about what it is that makes you want to fight. Maybe you fight to earn a living or to raise extra income to improve your standard of living. I don't know what it is for you. Have a think about it. Maybe fighting gives you an adrenaline rush. Whatever it is, write it down. Maybe you fight because MMA is considered an extreme sport and it satisfies your need for excitement or adventure or, or competition. Or maybe it makes you feel significant. Whatever it is for you, just think about it and write it down. 
Maybe you fight to connect with people with similar interests. Maybe you fight to make friends, meet ring girls, or maybe date strippers. Watch out, they can be a little crazy. What's your reason? Whatever the reason is, write it down. Maybe MMA builds your confidence, or maybe you fight to challenge yourself, or to measure yourself, or to test yourself against others. I know a lot of people do that. MMA, it really does offer this extreme physical and mental challenge, doesn't it? And many people consider it to be the ultimate form of competition in this, the, the modern era that we live in. Whatever it is for you, keep on brainstorming, think about it, write it down. Maybe you fight to gain the fulfillment and satisfaction that comes from working really hard towards a goal, and then the competition of trying to achieve that goal. Why do you fight? Think about it. And if you need more time, pause the video, or just uh, skip back a couple steps and go through it again. Knowing why you fight is important because it makes you drag yourself out of bed during all those early mornings when you have to get up and drag yourself to practice. It keeps you coming back to those brutal sparring sessions where your nose gets smeared halfway across your face and then someone else punches it back into place. Thank you, Austin, for that. But you know, not everyone knows why they fight. And a lot of people give up before they really reach their true potential in the sport. And they give all sorts of reasons for quitting. So let's take a look at a couple reasons why some fighters fail to reach their full potential. Maybe an athlete would give up because they didn't think that they had the time to train. And this is probably the number one answer. But most people always expand their work to meet the deadline that they have. Maybe they didn't have enough money to pay the experts or, or buy the resources that they needed to succeed. Who knows? Maybe they didn't have the experience or knowledge to do it themselves. Maybe they didn't have the right uh, network. Maybe they didn't know the right people. Maybe they didn't achieve their goal because someone else, like a coach or a training partner, didn't help them. Or maybe they felt that there just wasn't any information out there, uh, any good scientific training information or evidence-based training information like you can get on the MMA Training Bible or here. Uh, maybe they didn't have the technology. Maybe they didn't have the equipment. Maybe they didn't have the, the facilities. You know what? Maybe they didn't have the desire. All of these so-called reasons, they're related to resources. So the main reason most people fail to reach their potential is because they don't perceive that they have the resources to succeed. But let me tell you that resources are never really the problem because if you're committed enough or you're determined enough, you can always find a way. And so for this reason, your mental state is the ultimate resource. And mastering MMA, it's really about mastering yourself not your opponent. To do this, you must ask yourself the right questions like, what is the gap between where I am now and where I wanna be? So the big question is, where are you now? Where are you now in your MMA career? Have you developed the technical skills, the physical conditioning, and the psychological skills that are necessary to compete in MMA where you wanna be at? This is what we're going to try to answer in the next couple sessions using performance profiles. So that's really uh, the end of this session. Here's some references for you if you wanna do some further reading. So that's it for this session. I hope that you learned a little bit more about yourself and why you fight, and maybe some of the reasons why some of your training partners or other fighters out there may uh, have for why they don't succeed. And now hopefully you'll be able to avoid some of those. We learned that it's all about the resources and, and our mental state, it's the ultimate resource. So I'm gonna leave it here and I hope to see you back in session two where we're gonna start focusing on performance profiles and we're gonna look first at a performance profile of your MMA skills. We'll see you next time.